Hey NEMS fans, it's Robbie. I'm, you know, the guy who created this whole crazy thing. It's been an exciting week, huh? What do you think? It's a Raspberry Pi Zero W. And thank you to all of you for supporting NEMS so that I could just pick up this cheap little thing. But isn't it cool that for like 30 bucks you can have a NEMS server now? Um, so this is officially supported with NEMS 1.4.1. You'll notice if you run NEMS 1.4, I've automatically rolled that up for you. Um, and that is because, now, traditionally I've I've used the um, the NEMS upgrade feature. Wasn't necessary in this case because really the compatibility with NEMS um, for the Raspberry Pi Zero W is just a rolling release. But the reason that I had to roll up the number is because I did have to include a new image file. That's so that if people download NEMS and put it directly onto their Pi Zero, it's going to boot and it's going to work perfectly out of the box. If you used NEMS 1.4 without the .1, uh, there would have been problems because when you first fire up the device, there's no internet because it's Wi-Fi only. Um, so you have to first configure the Wi-Fi and then you can do a NEMS init, do your import with NEMS Migrator and everything else. So that's cool. I'm kind of excited about that, and the performance is not half bad. I'm impressed. I'm excited about it because it's such a cheap little device that you can just stick on any network, and that's NEMS Linux right there. So speaking about cool devices that we're porting NEMS to, got something in the mail today. This comes to us from Bill Marshall. He's one of our patrons um, at, at patreon.com slash NEMS. Uh, so just like you, he's a supporter of NEMS Linux. And Bill, thank you very much. Now, I already know what this is because he kind of told me. He said, hey, would you like to do this? And I said, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Bill, how do I get into this? Uh, oh, look at that. Gift. NFR. Thanks, man. Couldn't be much clearer than that. Didn't get hit with any duty. Uh, no import fees, nothing, so that's great. All right, let's get into it. I'm gonna just tear at it, okay? So, as I work on NEMS 1.4.1 now, um, of course, NEMS is designed for more than just the Raspberry Pi 3 now. <gasps> more stuff inside. Paper. What have we here, Bill? All right, folks. Hi, Robbie. Oh, I don't want to read this out loud. I just want to unbox because it says what it is. I'll read this to you in a moment. Okay. Here we go. So with NEMS 1.4, the exciting thing is that not only is it a, a hugely matured um, distro, but it's also built to be portable. And when I say portable, I don't mean movable, although it is, but portable as in we can port it to other devices. Look at what Bill sent us. <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, Bill says to me, would you be interested in porting NEMS Linux to a Pine 64? To which I, of course, said, <laughs> yeah. I will port NEMS Linux to anything I can possibly port to. I'm not sure even how to open the case here, Bill. There we go. That did it. Look at that. Significantly bigger than my Raspberry Pi Zero. There you go. So Bill's note says, please find attached, enclosed, pardon me, please find enclosed a Pine A64 board with two gigabytes of RAM and a Wi-Fi module in its case. There is a micro SD card also for you to use. Have fun from Bill Marshall. There you go. So we are going to be working on a port, or I'm going to be working on a port uh, of NEMS Linux to the Pine A64. Two gigs of RAM. Twice as much as a Raspberry Pi 3. The same as a Odroid XU4Q. Look at that. That's a sleek looking board. Cool. Thank you, Bill, and thank you to all of our NEMS supporters uh, for making stuff happen. Like, it's it's so cool that I can pick up an extra board or, you know, that a, uh, one of our users sends us a board, sends me a board, um, so that I can work on porting to this. And I understand Bill has more of these, so as soon as I port NEMS to this device, he's going to be able to fire it up on those devices as well. 
So it's an exciting time for NEMS Linux. I hope you're having fun with NEMS Linux 1.4. Been working out the kinks. There's been a few things here and there, but nothing nothing major enough that it's been showstopper or anything like that. It's all stuff that I can patch and then push out the patches and, and fix it that way. Um, NEMS 1.4.1 gave me an opportunity to release an image that was a little more complete than 1.4 because I had patched some of those early bugs that had come in. So, um, so that's been pretty good. So I'm looking forward to all that's to come the Pine A64 and everything else is to come. I've been working on the XU4 from Odroid, uh, obviously just finished up with the, uh, with the Raspberry Pi 0W and uh, gonna be looking at the Raspberry Pi B and the Raspberry Pi 2 as well over the next couple of weeks. So lots to come. Thanks everybody. And uh, I appreciate all your support. Talk to you soon. Night.